if you're new here, my name is Rebecca. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. So today's video is the next installment in the Things I No Longer Buy series. So I've already done videos on things I no longer buy in my bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen. So if you're interested in those videos, I will link them down below. So today we're talking about my home office. I do work from home full time and I find that I'm my most productive when that space is calm, clean, and comfortable. I just have one of those personalities where I cannot concentrate if there's a bunch of things in my workspace. So a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about that I no longer buy today are sort of from a minimalist perspective because I like to keep things as clutter free and as clean as possible in order for me to do my best work. My home office is one of the places where I really apply my minimalist principles. But a few of the things are also from a sustainability standpoint. In addition to trying to live a more minimal and clutter free life, I also like to tread very lightly on the earth. So some of the things I talk about today I no longer buy more from a sustainability point of view as well. All right, with all that said, let's get started. So the first thing that I no longer buy in my home office is kind of more of like a category of things. I no longer buy any sort of paper fasteners. So what I mean by that are things like binder clips, paper clips, staples, stapler. And this is really because as much as possible, I try and live a paper-free life. So much of my work life and my personal administrative life, so like bills and contracts and things like that, are all digital. And if they're not digital, I tend to digitize them. And as such, I don't really have a need for things like a stapler or paper clips or binder clips. I just don't really need that stuff, so I don't want it taking up space in my office. If you're interested in knowing more about my paper-free life and how I organize things digitally, I've made a couple videos on that, and I'll put them in the description box down below as well. The second thing that I no longer buy in my home office are extra pens. I have one pen, and I find that's kind of all that I need. I feel like pens are one of those things because they're so inexpensive, you know, you can buy a pack of 25 pens for not a lot of money. We tend to treat them as very disposable. So if we lose a pen, it's not a big deal because we have 24 more pens. But if you only have one pen, you tend to look after it and take care of it and it's a lot less likely that you'll lose the pen. And I do have a couple other writing instruments. I have like some Sharpies and things like that, but I really only have one kind of ballpoint pen to write with. The third thing that I no longer buy for my home office are notepads. So I do have one notebook and it has a place for a calendar and a daily to-do list. And I do use that pretty much every day. I do like to write out my to-do list in a lot of cases, but I don't need like multiple notepads to jot things down. If I happen to need a piece of paper, we do save some of the junk mail that we get and just rip it up into smaller pieces so that we can use some of that to jot little notes down if we need to. But by and large, I put all of my notes outside of my daily to-do list in Evernote. Evernote is a note-taking app. I've talked about it before. I love it. It's designed for note-taking, so it has a lot of features and functionalities that help keep your notes organized. So not only am I reducing my paper consumption by taking some of my notes digitally, but I also just find they end up being more organized than little notes spread throughout several notebooks. Okay, so the fourth thing on the list, I don't really know what to call it. I wrote down in my notes that I took on Evernote, by the way, Dropbox. So what I mean by that is like the box that sits on top of your desk where you put all of the papers, the mail, all the things you need to do. Is, does that have like an actual name? Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. I'll insert a little picture of what I mean. So I've used a Dropbox in the past as a way to sort of organize all of the pending papers, like things that needed to have something done to them or with them. But I found it just gave me an excuse to put off doing whatever I needed to do. Things would really pile up in that box. And I was like, it's okay. I made them neat in this box. So it didn't like annoy me almost because they were like, in their spot that they were supposed to go in. So without a designated place for all those pending papers to go, I found that I deal with any paper that comes in almost immediately because otherwise it'll sit there cluttering up my desk and I can't stand having things on my desk when I'm trying to work. So by getting rid of the thing that was supposedly helping me organize, it actually helped me keep more on top of the papers that came into my life. The next thing on the list is a desktop computer. I've worked 100% on a laptop for at least the last six or seven years, I think, and I cannot see myself going back. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is just aesthetically. A desktop computer takes up a lot of space. There's a lot of cords and wires. I just don't want all that. The second reason is that I do work from home on my computer eight, nine, 10, 12 hours a day sometimes. And I can't just sit at my desk that entire time. I would go absolutely crazy. I need to be able to move around. I like to be able to just pick up my laptop and move to any location in my house. I like to work in my living room sometimes. Sometimes I like to lay in bed and do work. 
I like the option to be able to move around so I'm not stuck in one place in front of my computer for hours on end. And that kind of feeds into the last reason, which is it just fits my lifestyle better. One of the best things about working from home is that you don't have to work from home. You can really work from anywhere. So I wanna really easily be able to capitalize on that advantage of working from home by being able to just throw my laptop in a bag and hop on a plane or get in a car and work from wherever I feel like working. The next thing that I no longer buy is any type of file storage. So I'm thinking here about filing cabinets or those banker's boxes that hold tons of files. And this kind of goes back to one of my original points, which is I live an almost exclusively paper-free life. I have one file folder that holds a couple original documents that I'm required to hang on to, things like a marriage license, car titles, social security card, birth certificate, those sorts of things. But that all fits within one folder. Every other document that I need to save in my life is digital. I have it all filed on Google Drive. And honestly, it's been one of the more freeing things about adopting minimalism is how much paper I've been able to get rid of. I used to have two like full-size five foot tall standing filing cabinets that were filled with both personal and work documents. And they were super organized. Like I've always been kind of an organized person, but it was still so hard to find anything. And like that takes up so much mental and physical space to have that volume of paper in your life. So paring that down to one single file folder feels very freeing to me. The next thing that I no longer buy are highlighters. I think this is because I don't take like actual physical notes ever, but I don't ever find that I need to highlight anything. I had a highlighter for a while and I decluttered it recently because I was like, buddy, I haven't used you in like five years. I think it's time. I will say I do use the highlight function in Evernote to pull out some pieces of notes that I want to highlight. Let's see what I did there. So I feel like I understand why one would want a highlighter. I just don't need a physical one. The next thing on the list is a scanner. So we do have a printer and I will say it comes in pretty handy. We use it quite often. We use it a lot to print things like shipping labels. There are certain things that do require a wet signature that we need to print out and sign. So I do really still find value in owning a printer, but I feel like our phones have really replaced the need for an actual physical scanner. Cameras on phones are so good now and there are so many apps that will help you convert that to the file type that you need when you scan something in. Personally, I use the Adobe Scan app. A lot of you have heard me talk a lot about this app because I absolutely love it, but it can scan up to 25 pages into a readable PDF. It can scan on an unlimited amount of pages into a non-readable PDF and it just makes it so easy. I don't need another physical electronic thing in my life when my phone can do the exact same thing. The next thing on the list is a shredder. So I do still have sensitive documents that need to be shredded. But for me personally, it's not really at the volume that necessitates us to own our very own shredder. So I'll usually collect all of the sensitive documents for like a month or two and then do one of two things. Either I will take it down to some place like Staples or the UPS store. So they have Iron Mountain shredding where you put it in a secure box and it gets shipped off to be shredded or we burn them in our fire pit. All right, number 10 and the last thing on the list of things I no longer buy for my home office is a wall or desk calendar. So the notebook that I have does have both a weekly and monthly calendar. And I do like to use that to sort of loosely plan out my videos and also do my daily to-do lists. But for the majority of my meetings, appointments, things like that, I use Apple Calendar. And what I love about that is that it's accessible on my laptop. If I'm out and about, it's accessible on my phone. Keeping track of things on a calendar that lives in one static spot just doesn't really fit my lifestyle or what I'm used to. I really do prefer having everything digitally. And then it's just one less thing that's on your desktop or on the wall around your desk. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree? Are there things that I listed here that you absolutely couldn't live without? I'm always interested to hear your feedback and your thoughts. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a like if you liked it. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye, everyone. Let's do that again. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, it's a squirrel trying to get in the compost. Get out of here, buddy. That's not for you. Oh, wow, oh, he's climbing on a cactus. Doesn't that hurt? Gives no fucks. When we. Okay. What do you call them? Mm, done the thing with the thing. What am I talking about? Start recording. Oh, it is. How do I wanna say this? <laughs> My forehead vein's coming out. <sighs> You'll always know when I think something's really funny because I have a giant vein that pops out of my forehead when I laugh really hard. Next thing. Goodbye.